Sorry, thanks, Mars. I can't let this one go. Uh, this this is an article in Business Insider concerning uh, Representative Charlie Rangel, Democrat from New York, and this guy has just demonstrated that he is a whack job. Now he's demonstrated it before, but. That's side the point. As he is doing Veteran Representative Charlie Rangel, Democrat from New York, had some harsh words for the Republican Party during a Thursday campaign rally for New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, who I can't stand. Vote Astorino. As he has done repeatedly before, Rangel compared some members of the GOP to the Confederates from the Civil War era, but at the Thursday event, he had that they believe slavery isn't over. This guy is out of his mind. He's referring to black slavery, of course. He's out of his mind. I mean, it's, even the transatlantic slave trade was ended it was in the early 1800s. It was before 1810, I know that much. I'd have to look it up. He's out of his mind. This is 2014, and we know what our history is. There's nobody who thinks that blacks are going to be put on plantations and held under the whip again. He's crazy. We have to win. We have to be able to send a message with... Andrew Cuomo, and the thing is, everything we believe in, everything we believe in, they hate. They don't disagree, they hate. They think that if you come, didn't come from Europe 30 years ago, you didn't even make it. Some of them believe that slavery isn't over, and they think that they won the Civil War. Apparently referring to uh, the South. Good God. Uh, people, why in the hell does anybody cast a vote for this imbecile? In contrast, Rangel said the Democratic Party is doing God's work on issues important to the American people. Wiring sack of shit. And so what we have to do is send the collective voice, he said in the upcoming midterm elections. Everything we're doing is God's work. Education, health care, affordable housing, protecting against discrimination, paying people a minimum wage. No, Mr. Rangel, everything you're doing is, uh, demonic, in my opinion. Well, I'm an agnostic. I say demonic in quotes. Um, why in the hell is this uh, utter nutcase still in office? See, this is a problem. We have people who are certifiable, and they're in office... Um, uh, this is worse than liberalism. They're in office and they're, uh, destroying this country. We gotta get Kumo out of there. He's a useless piece of... I better not say it. Just take a look at your dog when it takes a dump on the lawn. This is unbelievable. See, this is a certifiable whack job. You want to be removed from office for gross incompetence and mental illness. Yeah, he's still in there. You know, there are others like Nancy Pelosi and, uh... Oh, I... Early morning, I can't think of all the names, but you get the point. 
And Nancy Pelosi is just as not much of a nutcase as this guy is. Now, the answer, to be fair, no, slavery wasn't ended. It was moved underground. I'm talking about human trafficking. That's a real problem. Yet this idiot keeps bringing up things that happened a long, long time ago and people had different morals and didn't understand that you don't uh, try to trade in human beings. There's still an active slave trade. It's not... A lot of it is in uh, Africa. You know, black-on-black -black slave trade. And there's human trafficking and so forth. Well, this guy, you know, this guy apparently still thinks that Southerners uh, want to hold slaves as for uh, picking cotton. He's crazy. Gotta get this guy out of office. He's uh, mentally ill. He's an utter, utter nut job. That's all. Thanks for listening.